A new story. A new Gundam arrives at Londo Bell. Okay. Londo Bell receives a new Gundam on Luo's and Co.'s request. Sounds like we're heading to a colony called Londi Londanion this time. Londanion? I feel like I know that name from somewhere. I mean, of course you should. You know, HQ of the Londo Bell. Really? You say that like it should mean something, but... Oh, I know who they are. The Londo Bell is the unit that stopped Axis during Char's Rebellion, right? Absolutely. I would have thought it common knowledge to anyone living on Earth. What's that supposed to mean, Kosuke? Are you chewing us out? Hey, it's on you three that you didn't know. You should pay more attention to what's happening in the world. Um... Oh, it's fine. It's not that bad that peace made them forget, right? Haha, <laughs> even Chizuru thinks we're soft and silly. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it, Yuta. Why are we going to meet the Londa Bell, though? Well, that should be obvious. We're going to join to get them to join the Drake Crews. Still, the Lana Bell has very little in the way of a fighting force these days. Why's that? Well, first they lost their mobile suit team captain, Emeril Ray, during Char's Rebellion. After that, they were responsible for crippling the villains such as they were behind the Laplace's box incident. Apparently, though, what was feared as an overreach of their authority even as an autonomous unit, and now they're more of a title than a real unit. There's not a lot of point in getting them to join the Drake Crews, then, is there? Well, I think Captain Mitsuba would have come to the same conclusion, but... What do you think, Koji? Oh yeah, uh, let's see. I mean, hey, we're already almost there, right? We may as well go and see what they've got. Koji's still not over what happened to Ramaro, is he? Ain't a surprise, he and I both watched the friend we known for ten years vanish before our fairy goddamn eyes. In the end, though, neither he nor I could get between Amaro and Char. On Danian. Well, screw it. Let's go see how Bright's doing, at least. And that is my request to you. You wish for us to handle this mobile suit test as well as employ its pilot? Furthermore, you will allow me, Michelle Luo, board to monitor the test. You actually look like a fucking woman in this game, because in the OAV, you looked like a man, and I wasn't sure for like three quarters of the movie. You will let my secretary, Brick Teclado, and the suit's maintenance staff accompany you as well. Oh, hi, Brick. Very well, I understand your offer. So? What I don't understand is why have you come to me? As you must know, the Londa Bell is all but decommissioned. You might call it a uh, connection. You mean, a political connection? No, the ties between people, convergent moments. Serendipity, the world turns, unified as one by connections we sometimes call fate. It is this kind of connection that draws Luo and Co. to choose Londo Bell for this project. I see, a wisdom I should have expected from Luo Woman's right hand, Michelle Luo. Ah, I was not aware you had heard of me. I have had my own connections with Luo and Co. since the Grips War. I've heard that your abilities in fortune-telling have been a guiding hand in the Luo wheel. Then I hope that gives you some respect for my judgment in this matter. Here, Captain Bright, allow me to offer you a useful piece of information. If you're trying to offer me something from my nose, I'll pass. Perhaps that officer might sell well with the top brass, though. I'm well aware. I'm also aware that it's exactly that attitude of yours that has ensured you remain stuck in the position you're in. The information I'd like to offer you is significantly more personal. Personal? For example, I could tell you where you might find a dear friend of yours. Are you offering to tell my fortune? If you're concerned, don't be. This comes from Luo and Co's information network. Thanks to the Laplace box incident, Anaheim Electronics is failing. Luo and Co's influence is immeasurable. The RX-9 we will give you is to ensure you can act on the information you receive. Captain Bright, I do hope you're willing to accept our offer. A new story begins again. We will now begin to test. Deploy the narrative. A narrative Gundam. What is it exactly? I wonder. 
Good, it seems the Apex have been well set up. Honestly, I'm shocked we can stuff that much equipment onto this bean pull of a suit. I guess that's what you'd get from a new Gundam prototype model, though. It's an old design, but a good one. Where did you learn that? I've been with Captain Bright since the good old AU days. I've handled a whole bunch of Gundams through the years, and I worked on the new Gundam too. I could tell the moment I laid eyes on it. Miss Michelle. I don't mind. It was bound to come up at some point. As long as he doesn't pay close attention to what's in the narrative, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the point is you can trust us to work on this suit. I was concerned about betting on Bright's capabilities. I am glad to see that this is already proving fruitful. What capabilities of the Captain are you talking about? He has a power that attracts Gundams to him. I suppose that's the simplest way to put it. Asanashi doesn't look too good. Instant Jonah Pasta, report to your current status. The narrative is doing fine. I'm going to test the expansion boosters. Phew! How's it... How's it looking? He seems fine, but at this point I wouldn't exactly say he's a standout pilot. According to his service history, he was apparently part of a different unit before he came to us and trained there, but... The rating of him was that he was ultimately just above average. So a rookie like him is somehow the test pilot for Luo & Co's secret mobile suit. What do you think, Captain? I agree with the evaluation. He's not bad, but that's about all I can say. Do you think he has new type potential? Don't tease me, unless you've started to believe in those connections Miss Michelle was on about. I suppose I do, a little. After all, you've once again got a Gundam under your command, Captain. A Gundam with the Londo Bell seems like good bait, indeed. We have confirmed unknown units approaching. May have good bait, but we only just started fishing. That was fast. It's Neo Zeon. The line of bells and nemesis to Neo Zeon, after all. Well, I thought we'd have to lure out whoever it was sulk skulking around, but I didn't expect them to jump at the bait with these numbers right away. Retreat, Ensign Jonah. Get out of there. Yes, sir. No, have the narrative move forward. Michelle, you are not allowed on the bridge during combat. As your sponsor, I will not hesitate to speak on how the narrative should be used. The ship will need to cover to retreat anyway. Do you understand, Jonah? If you're going to chase it down, you must be strong enough to shred through foes like these. Chase what? Captain Bright, give the narrative the order to attack. Captain, I'll do everything I possibly can. Alright, don't do anything reckless. Yes, sir. The rat column will move forward as well. Support the narrative. I've got to do this. You will do this, Jonah. It's the only way to make amends for our sins. Okay. Uh, system. Music. This is a good theme, but guess what? I got... Oh, main titles in this game, too? Uh... But guess what? I have Gundam Narrative music. Is it under M for Mobile Suit? Oh, Gundam NT. Huh. I mean, it is the narrative. I should probably put narrative on it. Hey, you're going to hear Beyond the Time much sooner than I thought I was planning to. to me, idiots! Come to your master, destroyer. Ah, uh, the bosses aren't approaching. Vulcans! Hiya! 
What is your spell set? Focus, Pursuit, and Bullseye. Not the worst. The narrative gun number. Secret ace to capture the phoenix. I will master it. For Rita's sake. Wow, really? Come on. Send out the missile pod. Honestly, the fact I'm at half health already is pretty bad. This is like the worst Gundam I've ever seen for an introduction. Mega Particle Cannon, hasha! Wait, there was a hundred percent. Yep. All right, go bright. The Ocean's rapid response to us. It's almost unnaturally fast. I'll need to be wary about this. You have support defend. You have support support attack. I need to crank the sound the song down one. I didn't like it, but it needs to be down one. It's a bit loud. Spirit, focus. Uh, we have beam rifle at six range. Uh, what can I hit? Large beam saber. Yeah, that does a lot. Missile pod. Oh God, none of these things are doing. I mean, look at the size of the beam savers, and it's dealing half health? It shouldn't. Sorry, Nadini, Kunle, I'll get the kid. 
って逃げるつもりかミサイル発射走行を抜かれたか Thing sucks Our team saber あいつがガンダムだろうと出すぎるからこうなる牽制のつもりかあいつ逃げるつもりか近いだったら食らえクソこれがガンダムの力か、uh, it can, I guess. ガンダムだろうと直撃しろよ敵の位置は大体つかめた後手の方が有利なこともある止まれ Oh, those are beam rifles too? Okay くそこれがガンダムの力か Oh, this thing has high mega cannons too? Gundam will hold us up. Tasho no senyoku sa ga aro to mo. Simple na kongeki wa wakari yasui. So nara, mada oitsuku. Yodo shusei, jidan chakdan, ichi man nisei, chote, yoshi, chakeki, ima. Oh. That is indeed a cannon. Yeah, you got one. Gundam type, can it do? Can't show no senyoku saga aro to mo. シンプルな攻撃は分かりやすいあいつ逃げるつもりか近いだったら食らえ Good job. You're putting up a better fight than I imagined. The brass thinks they can win over that one just by just crushing the Londo Bell? It's never that easy. Still, they knew the Londo Bell had a new machine. How did they find that out so easily? Captain, this is going very badly. Actually, I think it's going fine. Yeah, no, I think we'll be fine. Select units. So I got 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh. Seven, eight, nine, uh, 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 I mean, I guess I can have Getter s sit out a map and Man, sit out of map. Do the match? No, the matching knights don't have anything. Gridman does, and I and the Ikaruga does. Uh, uh, what do I do? No way. Combat needs kills too. Ugh, can't believe I'm letting the original set out. No, what am I doing? Uh, if I can only send out two, one more unit, then, oh, sure. 
the uh Sorry, Ray Earth people, but I'm sending out the Tizen dog over you. Sure hope you're safe, right? Thanks for your... Thank you for coming, Koji. Thanks to the rest of the Dray Cruise as well. I am Commander Mitsubuk Ray Valley of the Dray Crews. We are here to provide support. The captain, she's really motivated this time. You did well, Ensign Jonah. Now let her allies take over while you retreat. No, I can still contribute. Very well, if you insist. As I said, though, don't push your luck. Especially if you have some greater task in your sights. Yes, sir. Now that's one gutsy pilot. Still, what in the blaze is that brick of a gun, though? It must be a prototype model, because it's not in the FF Registry database. All units, back up the Lana Bell and intercept all the Elcyon units. I've got to live up to the captain's example. Anyway, back to this. Oh、nice。Why didn't none of these things have post movements? Uh... And people are sure slamming doors down there. Do you have accelerate? You have another focus. Good job, but you're running out of energy, guy. これがガンダムの力だ。ガンダムを落とせば宇宙の民の怒りを知れ。シンプルな攻撃はわかりやすい。Don't forget I got, like, ammo-based attacks, too. ここは引くしかない! Oh boy, spirit. 
Really? You're just going to go and attack Gridman? Okay, whatever. Oh no! Oh no, you're attacking Bright directly? You mad? ロンドベルを叩き落とす。試験は伴うが。うん。大した被害はないな。ネオジオンの好きにさせるなよ。対空基準、操作開始。いや、あ、wait <笑> I wouldn't have really called this the beam rifle. It's more like the mega particle cannon. You know, position death to crotch, but whatever. Oh no, wait, is this the one that's actually the big guns? Oh yeah, it's the big gun. Okay. Oh, I see they haven't changed your fix your sprites with the really spread legs. Come on, boss. Can he? ドリルプレッシャーパンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。パンチ。
Yeah, police in space. Get the taser, bitch. A little toy. It's like bigger than you, buddy. Yeah. Who's the pilot here? All right. Yippee, Koji support defender. Like double command aura. Oh, you would do that. Okay. That's a new line. Aim for the joints. Man, I miss sword cutting Super Robot Wars. Yeah, it was. Now you're at half health. Oh no, not the shoulder. Ooh, a boss. Beam Naganata. You got a cool sword there? Ooh, you got custom poses and everything. That is a Naganada, at least. Really? Choppy animation, though. Oh wow, that did a lot. Koji a kill. Char kick. Get an atomic burner. Oh, 
Oh wow, that will actually do the job by itself? Is that the only enemy left? Uh, spirit? Soul Sai! The real spirit is, uh... Double credits. Lots of units have that. Spirit! Cheer! Only Combatler's got that. Spirit! Where's the combat there again? Right here, of course. Here, analyze just to make sure. Okay, there we go. I can take down their commander. Damn you, Gundam. Once again, you appear to oppose Zeon. I have higher max speed, but I can't react to their finer movements. I can't read the enemy's moves. I don't have a hope. Good job, wow. I know I forced a crit, but geez. God, he has save energy level 1 and he still did that much? Wow, potential level 6. He's a tank, Gundam. I can't fight anymore. This is... Elec, I'm falling back. The enemy command unit is retreating. The Neo Sion remnants. Behind them is almost surely the Republic of Sion. The Federation in Sion. The war between Earth Noids and Space Noids has changed, but it still continues to this day. Enemy units neutralized, ma'am. Thank you, Commander Mitsuba. We were only able to survive because of your timely arrival. Not at all. Your ability to hold this battlefront with such a small force was amazing. I'm happy to have witnessed the legendary Captain Bright's command ability for myself. I have so much to learn from it. Oh, so the whole reason we came to see Londo Bell, I guess it's just because Captain Mitsuba is a fan of Captain Bright Noah. I think there's more to it than that. Commander Mitsuba, I'd like to ensure I understand the situation. May I have permission to board the Dristrager? You have permission. I will be waiting for you, Captain Bright. <laughs> Earth unification? That's the goal we fought for this far. But I... You're not sure if you can handle it. I don't know. It can't have been an easy journey for someone who was a student not long ago. You have my respect for that, Commander Mitsuba. I appreciate the compliment, Captain Bright. I will accept your request to have the Londa Bell join the Dre Cruise. Thank you so much! However, I personally choose to refuse the position of leader of the Drake Cruise. Commander Mitsuba, the Drake Cruise is yours to command. What? But, sir, why? Captain Bright, I can't imagine anyone better suited to this role. And what is it, precisely, that makes me so well suited to this role? What? Is it my experience? Is it merely my rank? None of that is what the Drake Cruise needs. But still, the world has begun to move forward to a towards a new era. The Drake Cruise, the very Earth unification you speak of, will be the tailwind to push that era forward. I'm choosing to follow your passion, that's all. But that passion is what Com Commodore fights his county on too, you know. You're young and full of hope. You think so? He reached out to me before all this. He foresaw that you would get this command. But don't get me wrong, I surely want you to stay in command, and that has nothing to do with the Commodore. Captain Bright, 
I'm no different than you, really. I became commander of the White Base as an officer cadet myself under stressful circumstances. I threw my costume and fears to the wind and fought, and then somewhere along the line, people decided that I was a famous captain. So you should do what you feel is best. I will support your decisions. Do you think I can? It isn't a matter of can or can't. You will. Think of it as the duty of anyone who would command others. I see. Also, have faith in those you surround yourself with. The commander's role needs not be a lonely one. You've sure picked up some catchy lines, right? Huh. So does that mean back when we were on the white base, you actually had faith in us, Bright? Ryoma and Koji. Hey, Bright, I haven't seen you since Char's Rebellion. Remember, we joined the Drake Crews before you. I say that gives us seniority over you. Hope you like being put through the paces. As you can probably see, Commander Mitsuba, sometimes there's something to be gained from throwing caution to the wind. Yes, sir. Watch yourself, Captain Mitsuba. Just so you know, Bright Noah is a real professional at seducing women on the job. I'll thank you to keep that opinion to yourselves. Pardon the intrusion. I see you're busy, but... Michelle, I didn't think you'd come aboard the Dristrager. I was informed by the executive officer of the ship, Reynold, that you would be joining the Autonomous Corps Drake Cruise. I wish to inform you that Luo and Co. is not concerned with this, as long as the narrative and Jonah Bassa are still admitted to your unit. Of course, especially as I intend for him to join the Drake Cruise with us. Understood. We will continue to accompany you, then. However, Michelle, today will be the only time I permit you to involve yourself in strategic matters. I cannot agree to that. However, I will at least refrain as much as possible. Very well. For both our sakes, I encourage you to keep your behavior within reason. Incidentally, this is a good chance to hand over the information I promised you. However, you will be receiving it from someone other than myself. What do you mean? I'm given to understanding that the Drake Cruise is permitted to act throughout the entire Earth sphere. Should you return to the surface at any point, please visit San Francisco in North America. My sister is there. Steffi Luo, inquire with her about your friend. I understand, thank you. Wright's friend? It couldn't be. Ooh. Rack column hangar. You're part of the Drake Cruise, Ensign Jonah, which means you could potentially be deployed anywhere in the Earth sphere. The Drake Cruise. And narrative Apex or Space Gear. If you're going to fight in the atmosphere, I'll have to be it'll have to be with the B Pack, so make sure to check them. Of course, the B-Packs can also be used in space, so feel free to swap as the situation demands. Roger. Hey mister, are you the pilot of that Gundam? Yes, I am. What about you all? We're also part of the Drake Cruise. We came to say hello. You're with the Drake Cruise? You're all children. Well, Yuta's case is a little special. I mean, really, everyone in this whole team is special. Yeah, the Drake Cruise really is a miraculous collection of people. A miracle child. I see. Wait for me, Rita. I'm counting for you. I mean, I'm coming for you. But if I'm going to reach you, I have to fight and survive with the Drake Cruise. Shippy class ship, Gold Golotop briefing room. Welcome back, Lieutenant Alec. Lieutenant Sultan. What a shame. Your mission was a failure. Yeah, real shame that. Too bad my Sinatra Stein wasn't ready to roll, huh? That could have made all the difference. Hey, don't feel too sad, Lieutenant. Next time, I'll keep you company. Ha 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 ha. What an asshole. Lousy, defective red comet. Asanaje said as your supporter. Michelle said as your supporter. Oh, are they now? 